1051. Power 1051 is the Breakfast Club, and we got a special guest with us this morning. Amber Rose. Miss Amber Rose. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, you guys. How's everything? Wonderful. Now, Wonderful. first, Angela, you describe what she's wearing, because that's the first I thing I know, I'm ladies. looking at that hat, <laughs> and it has a horn. It's like a Viking hat or something. What? What's the deal here? Um, I, I found it at a vintage shop it's cute. In, um, in New York. It's from Mexico. Mm-hmm. Seemed like Lady Gaga would love that. She probably would. <laughs> it's it's fun. Keep yeah, describing. Yeah. What else is she wearing? Come on, you. Okay. I mean, first of all, it is a little chilly out because it's wintertime here in New York City. But she has on like a, I guess it's not really a coat. It's a... Half a coat. I don't know. Almost a coat. <laughs> Could like be a, a coat. It's like a vest slash coat. Right. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> okay. Some leggings and some... Very lovely. Uh, a poncho, poncho. Black, black booties. It's kind of like a poncho. Kind of yeah. like a poncho. Like, now, listen, I'm going to tell you why I'm mad at Amber Rose. Why are you mad at Amber Uh-oh. Rose? Because for a long time, I was the only person that had ever interviewed Amber Rose. True. And that was the interview that everybody's like, we've got to hear what she sounds like. You know, I've never heard Amber Rose really speak before. And then now, she's all over TV, and she's even singing. So it's no longer well, exclusive. Well, you know, it was a time when I used to say Amber Rose should be seen and not heard until I heard you on the Wendy Williams show. And you was very honest and very candid, and I, and I, and I could appreciate that. Thank so I hope you. you're the same way today. I, I will be. Absolutely. All right, yeah. well, let's talk about the song. <laughs> okay. We played it yesterday as exclusive of the day. Thanks, Thanks you guys. And, um, you know, at first, we, we thought we were going to have to slander the song. We thought we were going to have to slander you. We was like, oh, man. <laughs> I was already expecting it to be trash. I really was. I was like, it's going to be garbage. We and what right did I say? I said, I said, you guys got to act like this is not Amber Rose. Yes. It's just a song be open-minded. that you're hearing for the first time. Yes. And be open-minded that. when you hear it. Yes. And we started to do the Jersey Fist Pump, so we knew that it, <laughs> it, it, was, uh, it was okay. That's cute. I was, I was like, okay. you guys I like it. I was like, it's not that bad. I'm like, it's pretty okay. But it has to be hard because, you know, immediately people hear Amber Rose's singing now mm-hmm. and they're like oh god you know that's no people's... i know and i prepared myself for the criticism you know just um for people to just hate even if they did like it um but uh, i prepared myself and it's been nothing but positive feedback so i'm happy now how long did you know that you wanted to sing um you know i i always wrote music um but i never felt like because uh, i'm i'm kind of like quiet and and shy I guess a little bit and um I don't know I brought my music to Wiz and he was just like babe you could do this like mm-hmm. you could really really do this and so was and it I boyfriend it. encouragement or real live musical critique encouragement like no yeah like he he I asked him and I was like listen if I suck don't don't tell me that I'm good because you love me mm-hmm. he's like baby if you suck I'd be like babe just be my wife be a model you're good like okay. I love you and um and I went in the studio and I have like eight songs done now and um they're really really dope I'm really proud of myself are they all like the Jersey Fist Pump or, or is it all it's up all, tempo yeah um it's a lot of like dance music mm-hmm. what I love producers dance music. are you working with um I'm working with a few different guys. No one, like, really, really big mm-hmm. right now. Um, but I've been getting a lot of phone calls mm-hmm. by, like, you know, a lot of big producers that want to work with me now. So, Well, if it means anything, the record is better than that garbage Kim Kardashian put out. <laughs> Thank you. I it's way better that. than her record. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> oh, man. And, yeah, obviously we all talked about the, <laughs> the interview you did for Star Magazine where you talked about Kim Kardashian mm-hmm. and how she... Uh, was sending Kanye pictures of herself and texting him and you asked her to stop and then she didn't even reply to you when you sent her that message. Yeah. Was she sending like naked pictures or just sexy? I mean, I just don't, I don't want to get into detail. Um, initially when I went into that interview, um, I wasn't going in to say, uh, I'm going to go in and I'm going to say what happened with Kim and Kanye. You know, it was kind of like the lady said, um, uh, how do you feel about Kim and Kanye dating now, you know, being as though you're the cause of her and Reggie not being together? And that's the same thing that Wendy said. And I'm just like, whoa, like, mm-hmm. that's not the case. I'm going to let y'all know what the case is. And then I want y'all to leave me alone about this. Because I get that. I They asked me that in, like, every interview. Mm-hmm. I thought you dated Reggie after they they broke up. Yeah. And they acted like it was like a revenge kind of thing too. Like that's how you guys started talking because you were both mad. They you were kind of mad at Kanye and he was mad at Kim. So then y'all kind of swap. Yeah, you, you said know. on Wendy's show that Reggie was your rebound. Totally. Yeah. Damn it, yeah. man. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the way to do it if you're gonna do it. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, he, he might have been in love and now he just found out he a rebound. That ain't a good feeling. Nah, he was I rebounding mean, too. I mean. Yeah, I mean, we we knew what it was. It was just it, 
we were both, both of our feelings were very hurt over the situation. We never told anybody, we never told the media, like, what happened. But um, the story is very, very true, what mm -hmm. I said in Star Magazine. I just felt bad, because I'm not the type of person to hurt anyone's feelings, even if they hurt mine first. And, you know, I feel bad for calling her a home wrecker. Even though what what happened in the situation, like I just I'm all about women empowerment, and I just I feel like I stooped down to her level by calling her a home wrecker, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? It was just the heat of the moment, and I was just upset because I feel like I feel like her and her family manipulate the media, absolutely, and they make it absolutely. they make it seem like you know me and Reggie did something something bad, or 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 I broke up her relationship with Reggie. And it's just, it's just not the case. Now, now, does Wiz get upset at that? Because it sounds like you, you could, could possibly still be angry about, you know, you and Kanye not working out. No, I'm just angry of what people think about the situation. Like, they think it's you. Right. I'm not angry. Like, I'm so in love with Wiz. We're on Does Wiz ever get together. mad at you for anything? Like, he, stop mentioning old penises that you messed No, up. no, no. But does he ever get... Because it seems like you guys have this relationship where he's so supportive. He loves you no matter what happens. Mm -hmm. Naked pictures come out online. He's yeah. like, that's my baby. That's my wife. I love her. Yeah. Is there any... What do, you, what do you do that ever gets him upset? We don't really argue, Angela. That's crazy. We don't... We love each sometimes other. Sometimes people like to argue in relationships because they're making up is kind of funny. Yeah, but what do y'all... Y'all argue what about? Nothing. Past the weed. Is he yeah. messy? Like, what can you I argue with Wiz about? You're holding the blunt weed. too long. Do you no. ever tell him that? You smoke too much. You ever tell him that? No. You smoke too? <laughs> I she don't said smoke she doesn't weed, smoke. No. Oh, okay. No, I don't smoke weed. Um, like, he's not messy. He's nothing. messy, yes. He's he looks messy. messy. I'm not gonna he's lie. a weed head, though. Yes, he's this, yeah. <laughs> All in the bed, there's weed, and yeah. Blunt, blunt ashes. <laughs> All that. Yeah. You're waking Damn up. It, man. You're waking up with marijuana all over your legs. I'm like, like baby, hey. come on. Like, not, not in the bed. You have your side. I have my side. But not in the bed. Now, Angela, you mentioned nude pics. Like, it was like nude pics coming out of, of out you the like, woodwork. every week. Like, yeah, whenever sucks. they would come out, we'd say, okay, she's trying to get attention. Like, what was the reason behind all those pics? Yeah. I mean, out? I have two little brothers that just got into high school. Mm -hmm. So I would never put those pictures out, like, for them to get, like, ridiculed and, and talked about in school and um, or for publicity. I'm just... I mean, they wouldn't get ridiculed. They'd be like, yo, your, your sister's hot. I want to <laughs> no. bang your sister. <laughs> no, no. I just, I wouldn't do anything like that. I, um... I had an assistant that I trusted, was very close to me. She had access to my laptop all the time. She would book flights and stuff like that. And um, things went sour. And um, and she she took all my pictures mm -hmm. out of my computer. That's and, I'm holding on to and these she, uh, Yeah, and these she Angela basically e did that. She, she held on to them. She put some out. She let it die down. Put some more she out. Put some more out. Damn. Let it die down. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... It didn't have the reaction that she wanted. She thought it was going to be like... Wiz it's proper rock star shit anyway. Honestly, that's how I feel. I mean, it's just it. Everything happens for a reason, and and you've never been ashamed of your body, or you're not the type no. of person that's embarrassed. Well, she used to be a stripper. Why would she be ashamed of her body? And she yeah, got a nice body. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm, I'm I'm not ashamed of my body. I just I didn't want it. I didn't want to show all that. That that was very personal for me. Well, hey, we appreciate it. <laughs> 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 now, also, why did you? We're talking to Amber Rose. Why did you originally cut your hair? Because you used to have long hair. Yeah. Why'd you cut it? Um, I was always infatuated, uh, infatuated with Sinead O'Connor mm -hmm. um, since I was very young. And when I turned 19, and I was just like, I want to shave my head. All my friends were like, you're going to look crazy. Don't do it. Like, And I did it, and it worked out for me. 